Kevin Kravitz and Oria Takao finish their partnership, finish their season. And for Oria Takao, he finishes his career with a win. Lovely way to bow out. Nice moment here for the two of them. Brings to an end what has been a fabulous career for Oria Takao. Won his first doubles title all the way back in 2010. He's gone on to win 38 of them over the years, including some Grand Slams, including here at the NITO ATP Tour Finals. I know you weren't too keen to discuss uh, your retirement before this match, so now I'm wondering just how are you feeling? What kind of emotions do you have? I'm, I'm very happy, to be honest, in this moment. Um, couldn't, couldn't have had a better script to you know, to, to live this moment. Um, I'm very grateful to be here at the end of the year uh, in a great team uh, on the biggest stage and uh, to, to play against uh, friends that I've known for 15 years or more um, and come out with a win. And yeah, I would uh, leave that uh, the sport with that uh, with that feeling, and uh, yeah, I'm very happy to 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 have this moment, which you know, in the in the morning before before the match, you know, it's all these emotions kick in, and you're still trying to to concentrate and put everything aside to to focus on your execution and the match. But all, all we wanted and all we talked about was to to leave the court, uh, you know, the the way we wanted, with you know, with all the effort that we had and good attitude and good energy and to support each other and and try to go for the win uh, with our game and uh, yeah, that's basically how I've lived my career and. That's what I wanted to sum up in this last match. And uh, yeah, it's great to, to come out with a win. To be honest, uh, you know, it's, uh, the moment would have been nice as well, but uh, it's a good way to, to say uh, bye. <laughs> what do you wish for your legacy to be in this sport? What do you want to be remembered for? You know, uh, I was uh, very uh, fortunate to to uh, grow and uh, experience different training camps uh, when I was a junior and uh, met great coaches along the way that always uh, installed this 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 feeling of give it hundred percent and be respectful and uh, you know play to win and have good attitude on the court and Treat everyone with uh, with respect uh, all around the players, the staff, uh, the fans, everyone, and yeah, that's that's the that's that's also something that I've seen uh, at other players uh, before me. I was a big fan of Stefan Edberg. I was a big fan of Rafter. Big fan of uh, Roger, and. Uh, you know, you, you, I got to see Roger and meet him and, and see how he handles himself, not, not in the press conferences or on the court, but also off the court. Uh, and uh, yeah, big, big role models in, in this sport. And uh, it's also something that I, I wanted to, to have and carry throughout my career. And if, yeah, that's the, yeah, I would say that's the legacy that I want to, to live bef behind. And, and for the for the tennis fans and the kids especially that uh, like the game and have dreams to to see that uh, you know you you can have a good career and be successful and fulfill your dreams by having good values good attitude and 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 and, and that you know you don't you don't uh, necessarily need to be uh, you know close and and uh, very selfish and uh, you know, not pay attention to to others, and not uh, and uh, yeah, I I I, I feel I, I did that, and I lived uh, my career like that, and I'm very happy in this moment. Horia, if you just pick a 
two or three highlights for you from your career? I'm sure it's difficult because it was a long one, but what, what, what are the, the main things that come to mind when I say highlights of your career? Oh, this, uh, there is a lot. Um, I would say a, a, big, uh, a big moment is the, the biggest uh, dream fulfilled, winning Wimbledon. That's, that's always there. And, and not necessarily the, the match day, but that, like the whole process behind it, the teaming up with the Jean Julien, having the same dream, same belief, same attitude every day, you know, losing many matches and fixing things and, and communicating and towards that one goal and believing in ourselves and, and then, then achieving that, that's probably, that was a, a big lesson and also a big uh, fulfillment moment uh, that, that probably stands out. Uh, and uh, there's, there's a lot. Uh, and I was very fortunate to have great partners uh, around me. Uh, I've learned a lot from, uh, from Robert. I learned a lot from, uh, from Max Mirny. Um, you know, Jean Julien uh, has been around. And, uh, also very happy to to team up with Kevin this year and and you know uh, got to meet him and and it was a very enjoyable uh, journey let's say with with great people around me.